Hey, it's Presto and Coffee Lovers. Mark, I've got Nick with me. Nick, you're hey, a Mark. product specialist. We're going to talk accessories, some really cool accessories. And Nick, you're going to pull a shot using a few accessories, right. like an Akaya scale. The Akaya Lunar. Yeah. Um, a wood-handled portafilter on the rocket, like mm -hmm. that. Um, but Nick, so you, you've been doing this for 10 years. You go out, you work with the manufacturers and stuff, and you find the best accessories. Tell me about that. That's right. So. I started just when I was in college, so I've been with Holate Love for quite a while, spending a lot of time around products, and you're absolutely right. Part of what I do is really looking into what's popular, what people are talking about, what we can do to maybe push the envelope a little bit for our own coffee knowledge to help customers, and then maybe offer something a little bit special, too, on mm -hmm. what would otherwise be kind of a stock machine. So you use this stuff all the time, right? Absolutely. And I know you put a, you and Todd put some work into the wood. Todd here? was a big advocate for the wood too, so I can't take all the credit for this one. So let me talk uh, a little bit about the wood because I think it's really cool. Mm -hmm. We've got it, uh, wood accents on the rocket machine. We've got the Apartamento yeah. here with it. And we right have now, an R58. the R58 and the Apartamento. So we've got custom walnut knobs for both the hot water and the steam, the E61 tap. The Apartmento, we actually take it a step further. Oh, yeah. We have a custom wood veneer that we've applied to the existing panels. So you don't really have to worry about warping with wood, but then you still get that beautiful walnut that matches all the accessories. And, and on the Apartmento, we have many other different color so inserts. So that that's right. There, right. Actually, um, Jesse Salzman, who works for us, worked to get um, some special acrylic cutouts on the Apartmentos that are available in eight different colors in addition to the stock apartmentos mm -hmm. so you've got colors like ruby sapphire we've got a rose gold which is really nice even an iridescent which is a little funky so we really wanted to offer kind of a much wider array of styles the apartmento is a really fashionable kind of stylish machine and now mm -hmm. you can kind of take that to you know 11 oh, and basically, there we so. there's a look at some of the some of the possibilities just some of the possibilities or maybe all of them right now. Uh, that might be all of them. Well, you don't see the wood on there, but yeah, actually, so we do let's have the walnut so as well. About the wood, because we've mm -hmm. got something that goes along with that beyond just the wood accents here, an yeah. extra. So that is the bottomless that you've got here. So we figured that people would want um, a bottomless to go with the machine, so we're throwing that in as a little bit of an extra. It does come with a 22 gram nanotech basket, so you can start pulling triples right out of the box. Uh, but yeah, it's the same handle, nice angled walnut, very, very nice uh, addition to the machine. And th those bottomless shots are great. Not only do they look good, but they can really help you improve your technique. So you can really see if you've got issues with channeling, if you've got kind of inconsistent grind size, the bottomless really gives you a better sense of what's going on underneath. Okay. And if you're pulling, say, like a longer shot, and you want to do like a cafe crema, it gives you just a little bit of extra clearance if you want to put like a traditional American coffee mug under there. Mm -hmm. So practical and a little bit of like aesthetic appeal on those too. So. So we have a few other accessories here. We'll talk mm -hmm. a little bit more about those in yeah. a minute. Um, you're gonna, we are gonna pull a shot. You are gonna let's, do it. Let's with pull. The you wanna pull a but, shot? Well, on let's this? talk about what we have over here. So there's a Bezerra, right? Yeah. So this actually um, was one of our OG wood machines. This is the Bezerra Matrix MN. You can tell it's MN because we've got the E61 group. There is a version available too with volumetric called the Matrix DE that uses the Bezerra group. So. This is a dual boiler espresso machine that we found terrific steam pressure. It's got individually programmable steam and hot water temperatures. You've got a beautiful kind of color panel here. So it has light scattering kind of cut into the sides. So what you can do is choose uh, across the RGB spectrum different color combos that you want. So you can do green, you can do red, blue, and then you can even dim or brighten the panel colors as well so that it's um, you know, really to suit your tastes. But uh, the Matrix has been a terrific machine for us, both just as really like a cool addition to the catalog, but it's a terrific machine too. You and, I'm, and I'm changing those colors right now. That's in real time, oh yeah. I kinda, yeah. I'm so partial touch, to touch, the purple. Touch screen on that, so you like the, the purple, right? I'm a sucker for the purple one, yeah. <laughs> that one, okay. We'll say okay and okay. Really nice interface on there on the, on the uh, mm -hmm. Matrix here. Yeah. Um, so let's pull that shot. Yeah. And so take us through what you're doing here. I'm going to bust out my phone for a minute because I do have the Akaya app on there, which pretty much if you've got an Akaya scale and your Bluetooth is enabled, it'll sync with it right away. So we'll turn that on and we're going to do two things. Now, I just need to grab the portafilter here and we'll tear that out. So we're going to use the scale for our shot. 
and I've got it more or less dosed the way that I need it to be. Uh, so we're going to do the single shot. We're grinding on the Rocket Espresso Machinatore Fausto. Really almost can't hear it. It's very quiet. This was a collaboration machine between Rocket Espresso and Eureka. So it uses 65 millimeter burrs, a nice 500 watt motor, micrometric for the grind adjustment. And you probably remember this guy from the video that I did the other day. This is the Osso Jack Leveler. And we'll just go right in there and give it a nice spin. Now we have those in a bunch of different finishes. This happens to be wood. This happens to be wood. So this is a wood finish. It's not actual wood in case you're wondering, but we've got colors like the, the color waves, more solid colors, which are a polished aluminum like black and red. Uh, really a lot of different varieties available. It's a nice. really tremendous product. And what it does, if you get tight on that puck there, as you can see, it actually polishes the surface, evenly distributes the coffee, and it compacts it. So I know, Mark, you actually showed you can knock the puck right out and yeah. put it back in if you have to. I've tried that with some of the other guys, and it gets messy pretty quickly. So Now, I know some people will, will still tamp after leveling. I, I personally, I don't. I think you get your coffee compressed. You're On the Asos, it kind of defeats the purpose because this yeah. is doing both at the same time. So if you're considering doing uh, the tamping afterwards, I would try it without because you're probably going to choke out that shot pretty quick. So we have the cup right here on the scale, and then if you see on my phone, it's got the option to tear, and I have a timer too, so the timer actually is reflected right on there. That's great on something like the R58 because there's no digital displays because Andrew Mio did not want to clutter up the beauty of this machine. So let's flip on the brew lever here, and I'm going to start that timer as soon as the first drip starts, and there we go. We're going to aim for about... 40 grams here. We did about 18 in. So this shot may not be perfect, but really the advantage of having all these tools is that you can definitely go back, see where things might have gone wrong in your extraction, uh, whether it's in your dose, in your grind, or even in uh, the tamp itself. So that's what's great about the leveler though, is it's a consistent pressure every time. We're going to cut this at about 40 grams. And Mark, what are we uh, brewing with today? Uh, one of my favorites, an Italian bean blend, uh, Maroma's Orfea. Uh, gets consistently excellent reviews on the website. People just love it. You know, if you're, oh, thank you. <laughs> you know, if you're just getting into espresso, it's one that's incredibly easy to work with, a really easy to work with coffee. Great crema, Great really, crema. on the Orfea uh, in particular. So. And it's got a nice chocolate feel to it. I mean, do check out the reviews on the website. Um, there you can get what other people thought of it, not just my mm -hmm. opinion. Yeah, but we I'll have tell you. the tasting notes that Maromas has provided. You'll find mm -hmm. um, it's a fairly traditional assortment of Italian blends, so you do have more of the kind of bittersweet cocos and that kind of flavor, yeah. like you had said, uh, mixes really well with milk too. So, so a couple um, of the other accessories. I know you were mm -hmm. excited. I've got a Brazza. Yeah, Sete that's the uh, drop-down portafilter. So get hook. in and take a look at that. Now, what does that do for me? So it adds about an extra inch of clearance right underneath the dispensing chute. So if you are going for triples or taller shots, or even if you're having a little bit of issue with static, it gives you more clearance underneath so that when you're pulling the portafilter back out, you're not knocking that coffee over and making a mess. So, uh, and it this also time of year, static can be an issue, right? Mm -hmm. and, oh, yeah. Well, at least here where we're in heating season, we got, it's got a lot of snow outside. I don't know about you guys. So the trick to static is a little bit of moisture. A little bit of moisture. It's yeah. called the Ross droplet technique. You just yep. give the beans a quick spritz. So we actually sell these. This is from a company called Premium Vials. It's a nice one ounce glass uh, fine mister. So just one spray is enough typically to eliminate any of the static that you might have. So we've got this pretty well uh, filled here, but if you give it a spray and then just sort of It'll give stir. it a stir, yeah, that'll help get the um, beans nice and uh, moist so that they don't have an issue with static and so just, if just a little right not, yeah not just a, a little you really don't want to go too crazy with that uh, and this is really handy but you know if you don't have this I found if you just dunk your finger in a glass of water real quick and do a little stir you could, you could do it you know a course. dunk I feel like the tactile satisfaction <laughs> of just giving you know, the sure. spray bottle of spray is uh, almost as fun as brewing Sure. Um, and oh, it looks like a nice rocket knockbox here. Yeah, so yeah. there's a great kind of assortment a of um, accessories from Rocket if you really are looking to go all in. Yeah. So we've got branded cupware as well, ranging from, say, the espresso all the way up to like a nice kind of flat white cup here. The knockbox is great for tidy cleanup. 
Um, you know, it's really all about kind of going all in with the brand. Even on the Fausto here, you've got the R on the micrometric knob, the panel, the drip tray, or the grinds tray, sorry. So. Rocket uh, really is about the, the about their brand, right? It's all about <laughs> you can't mistake the Rocket, rocket experience. Opening a Rocket machine, just kind of all the stuff that comes prepackaged with it. It's almost kind of like opening um, like a new iPhone or something, just sure. with all the little gadgets that they include in there for you. Now so. we have a Pro Brewing accessories, right? Yeah, Let's talk so a little bit about that and if we can pull that up and show people mm -hmm. real quick. Pro Brewing we'll is that. a collection that we made that kind of collects all of the products that we've got to sort of improve your overall preparation of your shots. So you can find accessories here ranging from bottomless portafilters, the RDT sprayer, like you said, espresso scales, that kind of thing. Um, it's really for people who not only are looking just to brew great espresso every day, but to see how... There's that drop-down hook. Yeah. There's the drop-down hook, yeah. How, you know, kind of the different elements of preparing espresso can affect the overall flavor of the coffee. So if you're really looking to tease out some of those notes, these are the tools that are going to help you do it. And I thought that it was kind of a better way to understand what it is that we're going for here, which is like if you really want to take it to a more professional level, something closer to what you're getting in a cafe or a coffee shop, um, that's what you'd want to start with. Okay. So, and that's across basically our whole range of products, ranging from the Gaja Classic all the way up to you know, the Dal Corte have Pro Brewing. I mean, things. for instance, so. one thing I know you were really excited about this. I was super excited. Yeah. <laughs> it's, so. it's a hunk of metal, but tell us about that. Yeah. So we have one hunk of metal in my right hand here, and a hunk of metal in my left hand. These are the shower holding plates for the Gaja Classic. So this goes right above the shower screen. So if you haven't already, I would recommend replacing yours with a nanotech screen mm -hmm. for a little bit of better flow here. But the stock screen that comes with the Classic is aluminum, like the boiler. This screen is made out of stainless steel. So it's almost three the times here, right? heavier. Exactly. Oh, yeah, yeah, the plate. It's almost three times heavier. Mm -hmm. So it's got a much better thermal mass, meaning it will retain heat uh, more efficiently. But okay. on top of that, too, the stainless is much better at resisting pitting and corrosion that might occur due to coming in contact with the coffee and the oils and the acids that are being extracted from it. Uh, you can see this is kind of a worn uh, aluminum one here, but really the stainless will help you down the line too if you're going to be replacing out the screen or doing some maintenance right underneath the plate. Sometimes these can get kind of gunked up on there with some coffee oil, so right. the steel this is, is going to do a lot cleaner, better. going to stay cleaner, release mm -hmm. easier, oh, yeah. better thermal. We went with stainless qualities. too because I couldn't find a guaranteed lead-free brass option. I know there are brass ones out there. We went with steel because we know what's in it. Okay. So. Okay. One other, another accessory I want to talk about, and this would be very appropriate for a machine like. Mm -hmm. any plumbed in machine we do have options beyond that but the, the bwt that's the bwt right. so. so this is um we just love these now bwt mm -hmm. has a patented technology that replaces the ion calcium, exchange that's right uh with so. magnesium which mm -hmm. is less likely to cause scale you use this filter properly on a plumbed in machine you don't have to descale it yeah it actually alters the water chemistry to an extent or yeah. you have a charged resin that will release that magnesium and you actually you have it set to two right here but you set a blend setting to have some of your water go through the ion exchange and some of them just run through the regular filtration and basically that calcium binds into that resin and then it replaces it with magnesium and then even if it's not replacing all the calcium the water it's chemistry enough. is altered to an extent where it's, it's not going to no. build up scale inside the machine. And that's so. that's uh, the the absolute best mm -hmm. thing you can do to take care of a yeah. plumbed in machine. We do have options, so check out the We have a couple BWT. of in-tank ones too yeah. uh, on a rotary pump. You really don't want to have anything in there uh, like the best cup mm -hmm. because that's going to impede the water flow. And then the best save, not nearly as convenient as the best max. Mm -hmm. Really important to filter your dual boiler machines because it's really difficult to descale them yes. um, it's usually a without having a professional exactly come in and do it that. for you. So, so if you don't have to worry uh, about that, it also removes mm -hmm. the chlorines and Oh yeah, and I mean I've got so. customers who have bought them and then they love the taste of the water so much that they'll plumb, you know, their faucets, their drinking water, their refrigerator, all that stuff. So um, it really is great for taste and then also for protecting your investment on your machine. Really so. really makes a lot of sense. So mm -hmm. just a couple of the accessories. I know I, we were excited because we got some glassware here. We do, like yeah. So this um, is just one of the several cups that we got from 
a company called Not Neutral. So mm -hmm. they're a design firm out of California, and they have some really kind of neat looking stuff. This is from their Vero series of cups. This is the cappuccino. There's the cortado, oh, yeah. so you can see you know, quite great. a difference. They're available in a couple of avant-garde colors, too. So we've got clear rose, which is the one you're holding, smoke, and then we've got the amber cups somewhere here in the yeah, studio. There we go. One. Yeah. yeah. So here's uh, amber, which is... Very classy. You know, very classy. I think it looks nice with the wood, you know, kind of like that natural feel. It might have like a mosquito in there that you can make some dinosaurs <laughs> with. But uh, no, very cool. But we got some ceramics too, actually. They're made in okay. Sri Lanka and they're all available on the website. We have a lot of colors for those. Uh, similar to the apartmentos, so I was very happy to see these. On the I mean, side. not only do you want a beautiful machine, you want right. to present oh, yeah. your drinks I mean, in, a, I think, in a very nice way. Well, the really neat thing, too, about these is that if you actually look at the way that they're designed, you've got a huge chunk of glass underneath, which, mm -hmm. again, is all about that thermal mass, about retaining heat. And the way that the edges are sloped, it actually helps with drinking so that the fluid dynamics of the liquid taste better. Okay. You know, I mean, <laughs> okay. I'm not a, a fluid dynamics expert here, but uh, I have So I won't drip down the chin. No dribble. That's okay. right. You don't want any of that. <laughs> so, right. so um, dude, if you know, if you have any questions about accessories, Nick knows these accessories better than anybody. You can ask him right now um, or just leave a comment. We can, and we'll be monitoring those for a very long time to come. So you can always ask, even if it's not during the live stream and we'll get back to you with an answer. Um, let's see. Oh, you know what I do want to talk about is uh, let's talk about our uh, AR in 3D. Mm -hmm. um, so what our web development team has been working very hard on this. Uh, so we have a lot of our products are available. You can see them in 3D or there's augmented reality right there. Um, very cool. So you can, so there's a 3D look. You can do that on any device, a laptop or a smartphone or tablet. You can get that, but then you hit that little icon there. And on a compatible device, like, you know, more recent iPhones, I think it's seven or so and up, and other devices, you can put a product right on your counter in real size. They're not there, right? Pretty cool. You can move <laughs> it around, see what it looks like, um, and get a real good feel for what a product is going to look like on your counter. We're very excited about that. I also want to mention our product bundler. And I know oh, you're yeah. very involved in that, and you so. curate a lot of the stuff. So the idea with yeah. that is, you know, you get a machine like the R58, mm -hmm what sort of products, you know, you what grinder it? is appropriate well, with that? The bundler is really great because it's actually kind of similar to the AR in that everything is to scale, right? So, mm -hmm. I mean, you obviously know you've taken some pictures for it, but with the bundler really, oh, we- Here we go, we'll take a look. Yeah, There's created the packages of products that are, uh, oh, Jordan, or AJ, sorry, do me a favor, click on that wood accent kit. So. Uh, right from the product page, you actually are able to select the wood elements for your machine. And now let's pick which, a grinder uh, with that, and we can save some money. I mean, we've, we've already cool. saved two hundred thirty-nine dollars. Oh no, uh, no grinder. No, yeah, oh, yeah, yeah, yeah just to un unfold it there. Yeah. So, so we oh we have the Faust, Fausto down there. So let's yep the, grab the Fausto uh, or yeah. the Faustino. So all of the grinders and basically any of the accessories that are in the bundle have been selected for compatibility. Both. Oh, so we have some Pro Brewing upgrades yep, here. There so you go. the Barista Pro baskets, the shower screens, everything that you could really want. So um, those are all pre-selected. Will work perfectly with this machine. Exactly. Are gonna I, help uh, your experience. Hand selected <laughs> <laughs> almost everything that's in there now. I know you but, put a lot uh, of work into that. Yeah. No, it's it's terrific to be honest with you. Uh, you can really get a sense for the scale between the grinder and the machine. Mm -hmm. These accessories too are ones that we've tested and then when you bundle them you actually can save a little bit of money too so it makes it a little bit easier to get all your toys uh, right up front so you don't have to wait for anything down the line. Nice. Um, so beyond the you know savings in the bundle let's talk about mm -hmm. some of the other benefits of you know shopping with Whole Latte Love. We'll take a look at a couple here. I mean oh, yeah. number one of course is Free shipping on anything Free over shipping 50 anything bucks. to the contiguous That's United nice. States. Been That's doing right. this for 20 years. We got the Latte Rewards. Mm -hmm. what, how does that work? So with Latte Rewards, um, you earn points after you purchase, so it's 2%. And then what you can do is from your account on the website, you can redeem those points for gift cards that you can use to uh, make purchases on the website. So like coffee, so we got the You could buy Orpheo, coffee, you could buy you know, pro brewing accessories if you didn't get anything, if something was out of stock, for instance. Um, got to come back for cleaning supplies, that kind of thing. Or if you're saving up for a grinder down the line, you can use those rewards toward that. And so, then some of the other stuff um, here, we've got uh, extended warranties, parts oh, of yeah. labor on you know machines like the R58. It's going to take you up to, I believe it's on the R58, take you up to three years parts and labor warranty on that. 
course, the curated bundling, which you're largely mm -hmm. responsible for, and expert customer service. Yeah. You got, so, we have people you can actually call yeah. on the phone who are experts in coffee. They have access to the machines, most all of them, while they're on the phone with you. So if you have a specific size question or something else, um, you can get that, that phone number, 585-924-7170. That's on the website. Call and talk to a coffee pro. Yeah. And we're very proud of that 4.9 out of five star mm -hmm. rating on Trustpilot for the website. Um, not many places get that high. I mean, I don't know if people right. notice that that's a Rochester area code. You know, we've been here uh, in New York for you know 20 plus years. Like you said, a lot of the people out there in the call center are former baristas or coffee professionals themselves. So they have a lot of personal experience in pulling shots, dialing in, extracting, and that kind of thing. And then, yeah, to mm -hmm. your point, we have a whole wiki with information about just about every machine that we sell. We've got the actual products here. I know people have even worked with you sometimes to get answers. Yep. We've got you know a tremendous team out there, probably the best that we've had ever <laughs> in yeah. my opinion. Yeah, so yeah. Um, really well, great. A folks. lot of knowledge here, and beyond mm -hmm. all that, you know all the videos we do and oh. stuff like this. So um, if you need some help, we're here for you. Nick, listen, mm -hmm. thanks a lot. Do we have any questions at all? We we good? Well, do ask the questions in the comments there if you have some, and we will get back to you. And again, you can talk to a coffee pro here. Um, Nick, thanks. Mark, I'm glad we found you. Yeah, <laughs> and uh, <laughs> funny, that's kind of an inside joke. Uh, but let's take a quick look at the schedule we have coming up. Mm -hmm. This is a yeah, live stream right cool now. Stuff coming, of so. course, the video, yeah, I know you're going to be involved in some of that. So we've got, uh, let's see, we just did accessories. We got the so pour over thing coming up shortly. Uh, we got some baristas coming in to yeah. show us uh, how they dial in on some uh, grinder that we carry. Yep. Um, it's it's perf you know it's a commercial grinder, but a lot of people put them in their homes. Great grinder, the Chiado E37S. Yeah, right? Tony Coloni's got a pair of them for uh, Fuego Coffee Roasters. No. Okay, we'll see. So we'll have a barista in and do some real frothing from us. Now we do it a lot, but they do it hundreds of times a day. Maybe, oh yeah, right? I, I so. participate in throwdowns and I. Probably better at making spreadsheets than Latte Art. <laughs> All right, so. guys. And you can see the rest of the schedule there. Uh, look, we do appreciate you checking us out. Um, again, if you have questions, use the comments or give us a call, and we'd be more than happy to help you out. Nick, thanks again. Thank you, Mark. And we'll see you back here in just a little while for more of the best on everything coffee, brought to you by Whole, Whole Latte, Latte Love. Love.